weigh in, be honest with your audience. Very interesting because uh, all of our girls get talked about. There's basically four of them. And there are many, many different YouTube channels, rather commentary YouTube channels, that talk about them, pick them apart, basically say, you know, about Amberlynn, you're lying, we don't believe you, blah, blah, blah. She's a troll, whatever, right? Okay. But I noticed, and I got it here, but now I got to put my sound up, she was different. Even her presentation. I hope you can hear it. Things that I've lied about. You know, and they were putting video. themselves in my shoes and saying, you know, if I were you, I would have had a celebratory video and I would have been super excited to share that and I would have felt a reaction, like a reaction to me stepping on the scale and finally reaching that because that was my goal. My goal was to Notice how dignified. And a lot of people were just like, so I can stop this. How dignified she looks. Her beautiful lately, clothes. Because like, we know how she usually dresses. I reach it. I'm a ghost. And I'm kind of numb to it. And I've always been expecting this big, pivotal moment. And I don't ever get that, honestly. I don't ever. Notice how calm huge, she is. The dignified demeanor. Now, she's done this before, but still. I am proud. I am proud of myself. This has been. Good. A journey I didn't really know that I was gonna go on because I always start journeys. And okay, I let me get to the whole time. I always fail. And I think that's also a big part of the reason why I wanted to film this video is because it seems like a lot of the time when I do a weigh in video, it's because like I'm down my weight and all this stuff, and I have like good news. I don't want that just to be how it is. I do know. That there are, I'm not gonna say who, there is a weight loss channel. They only weigh in when they know they're down weight. And I who? don't want that to be me. I wanna show my ups, I wanna show my downs. And I feel like every single part of that is super important. I don't wanna just weigh in when I'm down a certain amount of weight. I wanna weigh in and show you guys that this journey not perfect and I'm sure it never is I'm talking about myself in real life everything it never is a lot more weight than I'm already at I just feel like if you plan on having your weight loss journey on YouTube you need to be transparent you need to talk about the ups and the downs no reason to fib no reason to beat around the bush just be honest and in the past I've I thought I thought of uh, squished cheese. I, I couldn't say the words Swiss cheese. It's a tongue tie for me. For no disrespect, but that's transparent not transparent with their audience. Transparent. Don't just wait for oh, I want to be down a certain amount of weight to prove myself. Just be yourself. And it took me a long time to get to that. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest because I always felt like I had to prove something. So what I want to share with you guys. Is my lowest in this journey has been 498.0 and I do I do wish I could have filmed that and had that okay she's using the term transparency where have we heard that in the YouTube reaction weight loss community be transparent so interesting So she's saying her lowest was lower than what she's at now. But she's being honest and transparent that she gained a bit.
all of the Swiss cheese, honey. We're not gonna have any holes. I'm just gonna give you guys the whole slab of cheese. <laughs> I'm hungry. So, you shouldn't say that to me. Last night. Okay. Oh, embarrassing. Um, oh yeah. I had. She's a being transparent. Pine and Ben Jerry's. I know y'all better get off them horns. I've been there, and not with the hot Cheetos, but other stuff. Chips. Whole big thing of ice cream, all of that. You go through that. I have no problem admitting it. I've done it. A lot of us have done it. A lot of us have done this. We have. But again, look how she's talking. Those were times where I could not control myself at all in the slightest. Yeah. Her saying it, that she's had it planned has, uh, some people have disagreed with her on that, you know, it's a binge, how do you have a, how do you plan a, a binge, you know, that's not how it works, whatever. Um, I'm not going to debate that. I know there are times that I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to eat that. Sometimes I think I'm, I'm going to resist it. I'm going to resist it. Or even before I really started to try to correct things when I was smaller, but I was gaining, I'd be like, I'm eating too much of this. I'm eating too much of this. Why? It, I should stop. So when she talks about how, you know, like if she feels like she can't control it, it's totally believable. And for all of us with these bad weight problems, and I believe that the bigger you are, the harder it is because the more off-centered your body's appetite regulation is. So that's very believable. And she's being honest and transparent. Okay, let me go back and turn the sound up. I'm confused because this is not really my phone. Oh yeah, you're doing that. Okay. Okay, so she would scatter it out within a time frame. Yeah, that's why I left her. I know what I'm doing, but I just don't know why I can't stop what was when I was deep in it, and yeah. I was able to tell myself I could not eat this whole bag of chips. So, and that's I pivotal. It is. It's pivotal I when you do that. was very upset with myself. I thoroughly thought that I gained all my weight back. It was this weird mental moment that I... Okay. I want to remember that moment. The choice. I chose to do that. That I had this moment where I was like, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I want to share it. It was like a second thought, and it was so stupid because obviously that's physically impossible to do. And I was just so upset, honestly. So I stepped on the scale, but prior to, I honestly was like, And I hope that. I really do. And so, I was scared. And when I did step on the scale, there was still a four in front. That must have felt really good. It put me in two scenarios. I'm looking for being under 200. Which, she's still in there. <laughs> like, I'm not even putting me in for person. And it's just, it's really important that I share these things. And Sharing. I want to motivate other women with channels to Mo the same other weight loss um, channels to do the same thing. I look up to people and I want them to be honest with their audience as well. It's very important that I feel like when you keep things from the audience, 
Okay, so she appears to not just be sharing what happened to her, but it's like she's speaking to weight loss channels. And I'm going to go back to it, but it's like a lot of what I have noticed is a lot of the uh, weight loss channels have been chastised because people are saying, well, you don't look any smaller. You're fat. Now, the first the first set of arguments was you're fat and you can't talk about fat people. How dare you? And or you're slim. People will say, well, you're slim. There's only about maybe three other reaction channels. And I don't know that they're all weight loss channels. I don't think so. But three reaction commentary channels that comment on Amberlynn, Foodie, uh, Amy, and Jen. Uh, there's only three of them that I know of that are everybody is pretty much aware of that are slim. And that is uh, Cupcake Vegan, but she's not going to comment anymore. She says she's not going to comment anymore. So really two. And that would be Alexis Shook and the lady Danny Seuss. They're the only slim ones that I can think of. Yeah, there's some people that might be slimish, medium-sized. Maybe they have a little junk in their trunk. I don't know. I'm really not that interested in it. But it has been a topic of point. It's, you're fat. You can't talk, right? And then so, apparently some of these channels, some of the reaction channels are, and commentary channels on this, uh, are people who have said that they have lost weight or that they are on a weight loss journey. And I've noticed that people will come to these different channels, like, when are you going to weigh yourself? You're fat. You look the same as you it, there's a lot of bad vibing and this woman lover or hater has gotten a lot of negativity i'm gonna go back to you sweetheart but um she's gotten a lot of negativity now i know she's done things that have shocked and horrified people and i'm not denying that but one of the things that i have noticed is that there's been people who have spoken very horribly about her and other people. Now I'm going to concentrate on her because other people are other people. We're talking about her. I do not know this woman to have ever called people on her channel while she's talking, what she does in her private life is different, insulting names, denigrate them, you know, verbally abuse them. Um, I've never known her to describe people the way she has been described. She has been compared to an animal, and there is one commentary weight loss channel that has been compared to an animal, and it was gross. One that I know of, that I know of, okay? But Amberlynn has been uh, called and compared to in people's thumbnails. Uh, let's see, a hippopotamus, I think a water buffalo, an elephant, a cow, and a pig. Now, she has done some things, again, like I said, non-weight related, that are just, that cause pause, that, that you look at and say, hey, you've got to fix this, this is not right. I'm not gonna go into the details of that. But she is a very obese person, and she's constantly being called an animal, a big, fat, hulky, scary animal. And nobody wants to be compared to an animal. Certainly not something that people would associate with being fat, disgusting, and people have a... I mean, it's not like being called a bird or something lovely. You understand what I'm saying? And what I'm noticing, she's talking about weight loss channels. And she's not using any type of abusive speech. Now, some of you might be saying, well, she's being snarky, she's being smug. I don't know anybody, including myself, who's never snarky or smug. We've all done that, okay? And, and we've always felt like our snark and our smugness is called for. And maybe at times it is. I think so. Sometimes it isn't. But what I'm saying is she is talking about other persons or another person, and she's not debasing them whether you love or hate this woman whether you love or hate the other comic views I don't care about facts don't care about your fifis okay and this is conduct as YouTube creators she's not doing that and she has been really 
really written in a very hor horrific way. Even though like there are scandals and such, it's not asking too much for people to refrain from calling people or describing people in terms of animals. And I'm not taking sides. I'm just talking about behavior and that after all of that that was directed towards Amblin, all of the animalistic comparisons, pig, hog, water buffalo, hippopotamus, elephant, cow, she's not doing it back. She's not even calling anybody's specific name. It's very interesting. And I gotta find where I was at, okay. Okay, so I'm back. So the last part of her video was basically the thrust, I think, of what she was trying to say. And then when she gets finished, I have some things that I want to say. Let's see if I can fix this sound. Other regular, I'm, not just people, regular people, other regular. I look up to people and I want them to be honest with their Sorry audience about the shaking as well. Camera. It's very important that honest with the I audience. feel like now see, when see. you keep things from your audience, you're also being delusional within yourself because you also don't want to admit it to yourself. So when you don't admit things and you're not open up And she's been called delusion Lynn. That's what she has like been called. With yourself, even if it's not on purpose. And I know Let me go back on that again. Let me their audience as well. It's very important that I feel like when you keep things from the audience, you're also being delusional within yourself because you also don't want to admit it to yourself. So when you don't admit things and you're not open up with your audience and the point of your channel is to do weight loss videos, I feel like you're also not being honest with yourself, even if it's not on purpose. And I know a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, and Berlin, like, this is none of your business. People can Some things are people's videos business. Of what they want. True. I get that. It's just like, I but think of myself in the past and I'm starting to see the same behaviors in other people that I did look up to or I used to look up to. Hmm. And I don't, I don't want to see those behaviors because I remember being that person. So I know what is happening happening behind the camera. You know, I know what is happening behind obese, the camera. People, we all got big for one reason. I know I get big. Too much food. Mm -hmm. We all in my case have begged our partners for food that we shouldn't have had. I got These them to get it. I didn't beg them. Done. We have all been delusional. We have well, all maybe shared only half the possibly. story. But not a whole this lot. This is part of all of our stories. And I feel like that's why we're all similar in that way. And it's just like, if you gain weight, show it. If you're only down one pound in two weeks, sport it. It's okay. Be proud of the pound. You know, I just, it's important that I do the same thing. It's like, I'm not just talking to other people and I'm not giving advice to other people. I'm also doing it to myself. It's important that I share the small victories, the big victories, but also the downfalls. And I will continue to do that on this channel, and I will definitely be posting more weigh-ins, no matter what happens. Um, and I just want other people to do the same. So anyways, I am literally ranting at this point. You're not ranting. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Oh, I did. I hope that the next video I share with you guys regarding my weight will be some good news. Okay, um, all right, so my thoughts on this. Um, there definitely seemed to be a message to one or two people, perhaps. And it's really interesting. I've been thinking about this and thinking about this, and I realize the distinct possibility that this is, quote unquote, a troll. But even if it is a troll, 
she's not wrong. She's not lying. And what I want to clarify and say is this. What I'm getting from her is she's saying, be real and walk the talk. As far as she's saying, like, if you're keeping things from people, um, there's been a lot of interest in exposing people's business that have nothing to do with weight loss. Nothing to do with weight loss or fitness. But as far as us, who are weight loss channels, who are fitness people, who are trying to, you know, we need not to be fake and we need to admit when we have messed up, when we have backslid. And there are some people that I think that don't want to do that and people are going to notice that. And there are people who put the weight loss in their name of their channel, but there's no weight loss. It's just talking about other people's journey that may not be going so well. And she's, she's right about that. That's going on. And none of us have to be paragons of perfection. I don't think it's reasonable to expect that from us. But if we're supposed to be about fitness and health and weight loss and uh, integrity, then it should show itself. And if, if it's not displayed, if we don't practice what we are preaching, it, sooner or later it is going to be apparent. Now, how can I put this? Um, if she's directing this to any specific people, no matter how you might feel about Amberlynn, she did that in the most elegant, classiest way that I've ever seen. And I guess some people will call that cussing somebody out without cussing at them, laying somebody out without laying somebody out without using profanity, perhaps. Okay, I put it this way. She kept her dignity saying what she said. She did not stoop to the level of verbally abusing, name calling, insulting somebody's shape. And so if she trolled, <laughs> she still kept her dignity and demeanor because everybody trolls. If you want to use, think about what the word trolling is, everybody gets snarky or shades. Everybody does it. Let's not pretend none of us do it. Everybody does it with very, very few exceptions. And it's okay if you don't go overboard, I think, personally. And if you're not lying on somebody. If you're lying on somebody, then that's different. And I feel like this. This is really what I want to say. I want to say to everybody, but I'm specifically saying this to Amberlynn Reed because this was her video, but to everybody, including people she may be talking about, you deserve the good health that weight loss will bring you. You deserve the weight loss, the good health, the rejuvenation and healing of your internal organs. You deserve the feeling of having control back in your life or even for the first time. You deserve these good things no matter what nasty things people might say to you. No matter what you have done in the past that wasn't right or nice. You deserve to make a fresh start and to not give up on yourself. You deserve to love yourself and to nourish yourself and to get self-control. And you deserve to be able to feed yourself in a beneficial way instead of trying to drown out pain or numb yourself or self-harm. Because in my case, I realized that some of what I was doing, yes, I was self, quote unquote, medicating with food, but I was also deliberately harming myself because I was angry at myself. That's part of my journey and in the future I will be going into more specifics. I think I'm going to have to talk to you more specifically about it because I didn't even know. And when she was saying that sometimes people are delusional and they don't realize it, well that's part of, you know, I think she had said that before in another video, that's part of being deluded. And yeah, people can talk themselves into something that's not true and believing something about themselves that is not true. And I would say it's time for all of us to whomever this applies to, to stop taking other people's weight loss journeys so personally. Wherever this applies to anybody, I'm saying stop taking somebody else's journey so personally. And uh, stop feeling bad about yourself and start telling yourself, hey, I deserve good health. I deserve to be at a good weight. I deserve 
uh, good blood pressure instead of high blood pressure. I deserve good blood sugar instead of pre-diabetes or diabetes. I deserve good cholesterol instead of being high cholesterol. I deserve a healthy, strong heart instead of a heart that is starting to go into failure, heart failure. I deserve to keep my fingers and toes and my legs and my arms instead of losing them to amputation because of diabetes. I deserve to be able to see instead of losing my eyes, this, their vision because of diabetes. I deserve to be happy and to live a healthy life because that's really what this health and weight loss is about. It's not about uh, trying to one up on one another or be better than another person but be better than you have been doing to use an expression that we deserve these good things and we can get these good things we are worth these good things and the way Amberlynn went about saying what she had to say whether there was a hidden or not so hidden message she did that in a very mature way that we don't see a lot on YouTube she did that kind of in a queenly way. You can be mad at me if you don't like what I say, but the fact that she did not befoul her speech with abusive words or name calling, that was queenly. And if she has lost this weight, she has won. <laughs> she has won. Because people kept saying she couldn't do it. And people got comfortable enjoying laughing at Amberlynn. But the way she carried it, it just went about her business and it was losing weight and kept her dignity in talking about it. She won that. And that's good because she needs to. She needs to. Anybody who has been kicked, even if they do some of the kicking, needs to win and needs to come back. And if anybody is uptight because Amberlynn Reed lost weight and Amberlynn Reed talked about it without becoming verbally abusive, if she behaved in a mature way, maturity Lynn, instead of like a wrathful child, don't hate the player, hate the game because she carried herself very well, even if there was some snark. She carried it very well. There's a reason why she has the subscribes, the, the subscriptions that she has. Her channel is providing value to her viewers or else they wouldn't watch. Even the ones that want to hate watch. Her numbers have grown over the years. Yes, she's in a bit of a slump, but I really do think she knows what she's doing as far as her channel and it looks like she's maturing where she's going to take care of her body. I'm not saying she's a different person now. She's still Amberlynn Reed. I know she went and did another one where she's eating and got the thumbnails. She knows that gets the views. But it's good to see her acting more appropriate to an adult instead of a child. And dealing with people's insults that are hurled at her in a mature and self-controlled way because a lot of other people would not have handled it like that. So that's my thoughts. I'm sure you have some thoughts of your own. Um, just keep it clean. I don't want to hear any profanity. I don't want to say any profanity. Um, I've always said that. But I'm open to your opinions. Just be dignified and keep it clean.